Hey everybody, it's Merkel, and today I'm going to show you how I've been lazily making gold for the past couple days. Now, um, I think it's been, alright, I did it on Sunday, so it's been about five days since I, uh, well, four days really, since I updated my 10 million gold challenge, and I've made 230k roughly since then. But I haven't done any kind of farming at all. I've been selling the stuff that I have and I've been sniping so I'm gonna show you the profiles that I use the profiles that I use are made by a fellow named Bill is Anixia. my friend tanker showed me uh, his profile setups like how the, the profiles work and uh, I'm using those settings so I didn't make these settings and Bill is Anixia is a guy that posts on the TSM reddit all the time I mean he's got a lot of different things he always posts but these settings work really great and I'm going to explain how they work and if you ever want to get into sniping what it does so uh, everybody always wants to see profits so I'll just show you an example of my accounting for my expenses for the past couple days and let's just look at last seven days so the most expensive item I bought was a six feather fan it was 860 item level I dropped a hundred K into this item and then if you click on it and see I ended up reselling it for 30 K so I did or 130k. <laughs> I lost 70k. No, I sold it for 130k. Uh, ended up making a 30k profit. Absolutely nothing. All I did was uh, I looked at the average sell price of it and stuff, and I said, "Oh, okay." And then I bought it, resold it, and somebody had posted it really cheap uh, for its average. Anyways, let's go back. You can look at a few more. Um, another one here, vintage dust watch cinch. This one was a 915 item level, and um, unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention. My kid wanted a blanket at one point, and uh, she was like, "Give me a doo doo," which is blanket. And uh, anyways, uh, I get up. This item had been posted for 215 gold, and that's the fun in sniper because you gotta be fast and be paying attention to a degree. It was posted for 215 gold. Now, I obviously didn't win it, but the guy who bought it reposted it immediately after for the 95k price. And I said, that's still pretty low. So I went ahead and bought this item. I could have made so much more, but I bought it for the 95k price. Ended up reselling for 100... Well, actually, um, I sold it for 150k, but it's it, I received 142.50. Um, yeah, so I made 50k pretty much on just that item and uh, would have been 150k pretty much if uh, if I was uh, at the computer at that time because if you leave sniper running and then you come back you're gonna be disappointed uh, another good one this is uh, the most common way and you have to have no conscience when you're running this because uh, you know you feel bad afterwards but the majority of your money is going to be made through people's mistakes. Like that guy made 95k because somebody messed up and posted a 915 item level for 200 gold. <laughs> but anyways, here's another one. This person messaged me and I felt bad for them. But they posted stacks of Flask of S Seventh Demon. I bought all the stacks for 1.4k, like 20 of them, so 60 total for 1.4k. Sold them not very long after I purchased them for 27800 and that's that's all you do this is pretty much how you do it all day and the way it works is TSM scans the last page in your auction house so you go in here you go to custom filter start sniper then you sit back and watch TV or whatever you want to do you have, if you have an Xbox or PS4 or something you can play but you have to be paying attention to a degree because stuff will sell really fast like that 915 item level if I would have been sitting here, I would have got it, likely. I get, like, everything that I'm paying attention for. But, again, I, my kid was like, can I have a blanket? So I get up, and being a dad, lost me 150K. Not a big deal. Still made 50K off the item in the end. So it didn't really matter. Um, but the way it sets up, like you see, it's going to run, and it'll take a long time before anything appears because it, it's running a specific set of rules, and if any nothing falls within those rule lines, it's not going to appear on this. Um and you just sit here you leave it run the best times I would say to do it are three in the afternoon because a lot of people that play WoW are in school so they'll come home from school 
They'll start posting stuff. Sometimes they want to post it really cheap because they think that's the best way to get their gold really fast or in a hurry, whatever they want to do. So they'll post it really cheap. You can pick up a lot of things then or at night because I guess people are tired and they're not paying attention and they, they make silly mistakes and um, things like that. They just, they're not looking and then they mess up or they're in a hurry or they sell something really cheap and then the very next day I can sell it for a 10k profit. That's it. That's the best time. So if you're up really late, Sniper's a great time to run then or in the afternoons where the most people are online. Weekends are, too, are great too because weekends have the most, you know, all the entire time there's a ton of people online since people are uh, always playing. But as you see, even all this time of talking, nothing has appeared. And that's how it's going to be the majority of your time. Um, now the settings, the way it works, like I said, I didn't make these profiles at all. Bill is Anixia is the creator of them and they work very well. And Tanker was the one that showed them to me. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your TSM. And the first thing you need to do is go into your custom price sources and you're going to have a source, you're going to create one, name it exactly like that, min price. And as you can see, you're going to copy this into it. I'll have that in the description, but copy this into it and then hit OK and reload your UI. After you've done that, your UI is reloaded. Then you have to go to your options, shopping, and you're going to copy this huge thing into it. Let me scan it all like that. Copy it all into there. And then after that, you're good to go. You copy that in, hit OK, and you're ready to run it. What this thing is doing is it checks the auction house for items that are within the parameters. So the way it works is um, this specific long thing that I, you're, you're copying in is what it's doing is if the item is 100K minimum price, it'll check for anything that's at 90% because let's say an item is at 100 100k post price it sells on average if that item is posted at 90k there's still a potential for a 10k profit even though it's only a 10% difference you know what i mean uh and it keeps going down gradually because the items have to to be worth anything really it wants you to make sure that the it's worth your time because like an item at a hundred gold a thousand gold if it's below 30 percent value that's still a profit of like 700 gold and stuff like that that's why it grows it goes down gradually because the percentages of huge numbers are obviously a lot more in terms of value that you can possibly profit than of large ones like i only technically got a 30 percent profit on that trinket i sold for uh 30k more you know what I mean? That's why it goes in, in the percentage differences. Um, and that's how it works. That's what this thing is scanning. But that's all you do. That's really it. That's all I've been doing because I can go out and farm. And I've farmed a lot of things. I just haven't been sending them over because I intend to make a bunch of the uh, mounts from Miss Pandarian stuff. So it's really good if you have an alternate account. You could use a level 1 account. You don't even need to use your main. Just give it enough gold to be able to purchase things because the majority of my flips involve really expensive items so you need to be able to purchase something that may cost like I said 95k 100k you've got to have enough gold on the character to be able to purchase these things and uh, then you can run it do your other stuff but again if you're not paying attention slightly you're gonna miss out on things anyways Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have fun with this because <laughs> I've been having more fun with this than I do with farming. And it's just exciting because you don't know what's going to appear on there for what price. Like I've bought Felwort for 12 gold each. Somebody missed a zero probably. And I've bought um, mostly mat materials. Um, Tanker was telling me that he bought jeweled and onyx panthers. He bought like 20 of them for a copper each because the guy was probably trying to trade it to hoard. So rest in peace, that guy. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just how it goes. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.